Yeah. <laughs> it is not that time. That's actually the wrong time. But it's about 4.30 in the morning right now. It's my first time at Aintree. It's also Luke's first time at Aintree. I'll introduce Luke. Morning. Um, Luke is my boyfriend, so we've decided to actually go to the races together because we never go to the races together. Well, I don't think we've, we've never been together, have we? No, we've never been together. Could be the end of it. Yeah, so we're driving up from Surbiton to Liverpool and it's, yeah, about five hours. And take some money. Put some bets on. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm putting bets on for once instead of taking them. I'm trying to get younger people into racing, and, I mean, you're, you're not exactly young, but mm. it's still interesting to see what other people think of races when they go. We are in the car. In the car. Time's in now. It's 10 to 5 in the morning. It's pitch black outside. How many cars do we have? Uh, 229 miles and it's saying we should get there in 3 hours and 30 minutes and are we going to drive sensibly? where are we El? what are we doing? what are you going to have? yeah get two of those And it's monopoly. Wait, do we get monopoly? Mm. Okay, do you want to see what I used to do when I was younger, right? When we used to get McDonald's breakfast as a family, I used to, they used to, everyone used to get the meals, we always had the hash browns. So I used to bite the end off. And it's Genius. <laughs> <laughs> That's your one. <laughs> <laughs> This is this morning's report, sire, from the Lion King, in case you didn't know. You also just missed a moment, an Ellie moment. You'll get to know what those are, trust me. She said, oh, we've got to go for a toll. And I said, yeah. She meant, do I need my passport? <laughs> now I know you don't need your own passport to go in Africa. <laughs> North Premier Inn Hotel just got changed into our race day outfits. I'm wearing a Mr. Guild. A Mr. Guild. Yeah. A Peaky Blinder. Yeah, let's hope we can get in. We're finally at Aintree Race Course. Say hello, Ross. Hello. Managed to get through the bookmaker's entrance. Sorted. How long is it until the first race? Ages. About three hours. To figure out how to lose money. Currently doing a special for the Star Sports on course. Going to do top of the game. Yep. To win by two lengths or more, that's going to be about. Uh, probably 11 to 10 to win by four lengths and more is going to be near a 13 away. Yeah. Wonderful. 
bumped into Simon here, and if you haven't already seen his vlogs, you need to go and check them out. Well, just about the bet we again today. Hopefully, it's going to be a bit drier than yesterday. It was a bit of a washout. Every last bet we took was a thousand pound, a five to one, the winner of the bumper, which finished off a pretty miserable. Thirty pounds seventeen. I bet the favourite. He'll pack the favourite. Barry Dennis would kill me. It's a big drift of the favourite. It's gone from seven to two to five to one. I'm Brad and I love horses. Number one. Why did you come here then? Drunk. Love horses. Find a good animal. Mitch. Team animal. Right, get a base in, lad. No, I won. No, you didn't win. At a place. Yeah, it's not winning. Thirteen pounds seventy-five back <laughs> from a tenner. Very good. Very good. Yeah, good, good hunters. Weather could be better. We dressed in blazers and so we had a vlog today about being here for the first time. Would you mind being in it? No thanks. No. Hey guys, sorry. I normally work for bookies. I'm doing a video. No. All right. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Thanks. Brilliant! Someone said yes! So, how's your day been today? Still not bad so far, so good. So far, kind of won in a few quid, so can't complain. Yourself? No, I've lost every single race. Oh my god! I know! I'm 42. Yeah, do you think the younger generation are more interested in drinking at the, at the races? They're actually watching the horses. Why? I've been to the races for the past 20 years, and I've never seen a horse. <laughs> do you not come to the races for the racing or just for the drink? Uh, both. Oh, oh, both. Oh, both. <laughs> do you follow horses regularly or she's a horse? I'm a horse rider. I think everyone comes in for the drinks. But yeah, yeah. What do you think racing could do to introduce younger people? Social media. Yeah. I think you need to dumb it down. None of this gibberish makes sense to anyone. <laughs> what, what don't you understand about it? All the like, little. The odd? If this person wins, you get this much, then yeah, I think a lot more people are there. Yeah. Horse racing, probably drinking. <laughs> no way. Just the excitement. Like yeah. The day in general. Yeah. Maybe not the atmosphere. The